Okay guys, so hello everyone, I'm Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel and this video is going to be a little interesting because in this video I'm going to compare two of the most popular Linux distros for pen testers in this video. So first off I have this Kali Linux and this is a very well known distro among pen testers and the second one is a Parrot OS. So this is also getting recognized by the pen testers and is being uh, used more and more in the industry. So this is the second distro. So I'm going to compare these two distros in this video. So I've categorized this comparison in three main parts. So the first one is the user interface. So I'm going to compare the user interface of these two distros. Then the second one is uh, the common pre-installed applications, uh, the common pre-installed softwares that can be used into uh, the day-to-day -day use. So what are those softwares that are installed in these two distros? I'm going to compare those as well. And the third and the most important thing is the pen testing tools. So how many on what are different pen testing tools that are there pre-installed in these two distros? So in this video, I'm using the live version of these two distros. That means I've live booted them. I haven't installed those in the virtual box. I've just live booted them on the virtual box. And both of these distros are the latest versions. So let me just show you the version of Linux that I've installed on both of these. So here I just have to write lsb underscore release dash a so this is the version of it so it is 2020.2 and let's see here so here it is 4.9 so the paradox is 4.9 and the kai linux is 2020.2 so these both are latest releases as of recording of this video so these are the two and now let's just start with the comparison so let's start with the first comparison that is the ui based comparison so the user interface so as you can see that uh, if you focus just on the color based then parrot os wins here because parrot os is more colorful than the kali linux as you can see here so let me just open uh, file manager so let's compare the file manager on both of these so here as you can see the file manager comparison and this is how the file manager looks now let's open the terminal so here is the terminal and how it looks so I have config I have config I F I have config so IP adder so IP adder command works here let's type IP adder here okay so IP adder works here as well so let's just close this and if you see so these are the things that you get on your desktop and these are the things that you get on your desktop on Kali Linux so as you can see here on Parrot OS you get this uh, install Parrot OS now this is a live boot and I haven't installed this onto my virtual box so that's why it is showing this option so here there is no installation option and here you get one installation option on Parrot OS and if you see the start menus so here in paradox you get two menus here above they are divided in three different paths so first one is for the application part second is for all your folders and files third one is to access all the system related applications so it is divided in these three categories here and here you get this uh, one menu on the top and on paradox you get one another menu on the bottom as well and here on both of these distros 
you get an option to switch between the workspaces so as you can see here so yeah that's all about the user interface on both of these distros so now let's talk about the second thing that is the pre-installed softwares that you get on both of these distros so by that i mean the pre-installed basic softwares that you might need in your day-to-day -day life so that can be office related software that is uh, word excel powerpoint that can be a graphics related software an image editor or that can be a video player a browser so these all different things so let's see what all those softwares that you get pre-installed in these two distros so here as you can see these are all the applications that you get uh, under accessories these are basic things the calculator then text editor so these are all the applications that you get so here there are more applications in Kali Linux than as compared to the Parrot OS so yeah these are the accessories then if we go into the graphics so here under graphics in Kali Linux you just get one image viewer and here you get a uh, image viewer a made image viewer you get gimp that is a uh, image editor then you have the LibreOffice draw then mate color selector so so there are three more applications that you get in paradox under graphics as compared to the Kali Linux you get media players as well so we have the VLC media player then MPV media player also is there so under here in the multimedia we have one uh, screen recorder that we get so here also we get one uh, screen recorder i guess this is a screen recorder i haven't used it so it must be a screen recorder and here we get a screen recorder we get a multimedia player and we get a volume controller here as well here okay so this is a screen recorder so you get screen recorder in both of these distros and under gaming so here there is no gaming i guess there is other and uh, system uh, softwares so here all system tools are also there and let's see the internet section so here are all the browsers that you get so if you notice then there is top browser that is pre-installed on the Parrot OS but you don't get a Tor browser um, so you don't get a Tor browser in Kali Linux you get a X Hydra here but that's not there in the Parrot OS so some softwares there are installed uh, on Kali Linux but some of them they are not there on Parrot OS and the ones that are on Parrot OS that you won't find on Kali Linux so of course you can install those softwares that are not there on Kali Linux that is a different thing so these are all the things that you get pre-installed on these two distros so now let's compare all the penetration tools that you get on the Kali Linux pre-installed and on the Parrot OS so let's start with so let's just open both of them here so here in Parrot OS, if you go in the uh, bottom menu and if you open the pen testing tools from there, then you will be able to see all the penetration tools at once in this one window. And if you don't want that, then you can go through the applications and pen testing. So as you can see, it is uh, divided here based on the different categories so the information gathering vulnerability assessment then web application wireless password attacks so you'll be able to see same kind of categorization in the Kali Linux as well so i'm not going to compare every single tool that is there but i'm just going to go through some of them so that you can get an idea on what all tools that are there pre-installed that you get on both of these linux distros so now let's just uh, start with here so so now let's just start with the Kali Linux and here 
let's go into the information gathering section let's go into the information gathering section here as well and before that as you can see you get so here under most used tools uh, you will get some of the most popular and most used tools that are there so like Burp Suit, then John the Ripper, then Meltego, then OWASP Zap, then there is Wireshark. So these are all the different tools that are most used. So you can access them from here directly. And then now let's get started. And then now let's get started with the information gathering. So here in under information gathering section, as you can see, it is similarly divided on both of these distros so here also you get these different tools and they are subdivided internally so there is DNS analysis so you'll be able to see a DNS analysis section here on Kali Linux as well so if you compare this then you will see that there are a lot more tools on Parrot OS as compared to the Kali Linux and now let's go on to the second one here okay here as you can see uh, that this tool is same on both of the distros but uh, here on parrot os we have two different tools that are not there on Kali Linux, and on Kali Linux we have one tool that is not there on parrot os let's go on to some different one so let's go into this OSINT so okay here also there is uh, OSINT analysis so as you can see that we have Multigo here and we have uh, let me just open it again okay we have the harvester so both of these tools are here so we have some extra tools here on the Parrot OS which are not there on uh, Kali Linux you may find more tools in Parrot OS as compared to Kali Linux but you are going to find all those popular and well-known tools on both of these distros so I'm not going to say that Parrot OS has more tools so just uh, go ahead and use Parrot and don't use Kali Linux this video is not about that and just depends on what you want to use what you prefer so tools you are going to find tools on both of these distros and even if some tools if they are not pre-installed then you can obviously go ahead and install them and still if you think that here on Parrot OS you get a lot more tools then still there are so many tools that are not installed and that you can install as per your use so that's all about the tools that you get on both of these distros so yeah that's all about the comparison of these two distros so guys before going i just wanted to share one last thing with you that is i have created a website on cryptography so it is a ctf based website about cryptography and steganography so if you already know some basics about cryptography and steganography and how to use steganography tools and you know about uh, ciphertext encoding decoding then this is uh, the platform for you so here there are different rooms that you will find on this platform so all these rooms have some specific topics so here it is uh, the cryptographic hashes so here you will find different questions regarding uh, cryptographic hashes so you just have to crack these hashes and once you crack these hashes then you will get a text so that text you have to submit here that is the flag that you get so you have to submit that flag here and once you submit that flag you are going to get some points and coins added onto your account and based on those points and coins you will be ranked onto the leaderboard so this is the platform that i've created for those who want to practice their skills on uh, cryptography and steganography so yeah this was it so yeah guys that's it for this video do all the like share subscribe thing and that's it for this one i'll see you in the next one